Hi everyone, you can see we're in a special place for this week's video blog. We're at the Ottawa Art Gallery. The Ottawa Art Gallery has just celebrated their one year anniversary, their successful year. We're here with the communication uh, lead here at the Ottawa Art Gallery, Véronique Couillard. Véro, we met uh, and, and talked about uh, the opening of the gallery just a year ago and it, it feels like it was yesterday. But there's been so many positive stories of the discoveries here of the new space, of some of the, uh, the artwork, the local artists, and some of the programming here. What's been the last year like for you? It's been amazing. So we've lived, if you will, in the building for a year. We know it works well. Uh, we wanted an accessible, very open building, and it works. It's very porous. Uh, we have lots of traffic, some people say, some people just walk through. Uh, it's accessible too in terms of economics, so it's free all the time, uh, except for some, some uh, ticketed events. But, uh, You're right, accessibility is an important feature, right? There's a physical accessibility, which there's no really uh, back to this building. The, there's an access and it's accessible, but there's an access on Mackenzie Bridge, there's an access on Nicholas, on Daly, and obviously being tied into Arts Court there's that access. So the physical access has really been uh, uh, tremendous. It's and then yeah, obviously change, yeah. the gallery in terms of, uh, of barriers has removed all of the possible barriers from hours, operations. Maybe you could Yeah, like so we're open every day, nine to nine. So it makes it easier for people to come even in the evening. We have free daycare. Um, starting May, free daycare will be Friday evenings. Uh, for families, um, and then support for me. I'm a, I'm a young dad as well, <laughs> so I totally get it. Yeah, yeah, and I mean, kids are welcome in the galleries, of course, but it's nice sometimes to have an hour kind of on your own. Uh, and then we have free activities, you know, creative Sundays um, uh, in the studio, and we're also not just asking people to come into the building, but we're also in the community. Absolutely. Uh, so we're going to be with the art tent and festivals around the city this summer for free activities as well. Attendance has been really. Unreal, right? Politically, we couldn't have expected the popularity. How does the team react to such a popular year? Yeah, it's really great. Like, we know the building works well. We've lived in the building, we've programmed in it, but to see the attendance figures is really amazing. And also to see how many people have joined us on social media since the inauguration. Um, it's really, really... Continues to, partners, to garner and capture. Events. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It just kind of confirms what we've been trying to do and it's really nice. Yeah. And we're in the uh, McKinnis family uh, gallery here. What's behind us? Uh, What's so, happening at the gallery now? Yeah, so we're actually inaugurating, we've inaugurated five uh, different exhibits. Uh, this one is a group show um, uh, where five, oh, no, sorry, where indigenous artists from both Australia and Canada uh, work together on what you see behind me uh, to produce a work. Um, and actually, all of these artworks are going to be touring also to Australia. So, for um, strong for us, collaboration. Yeah, for us, it's kind of exciting to to have that international uh, component. Um, and then further down in the hallway, you have the work of Howie Sui who spent time here in Ottawa and what he uh, is now in Vancouver. Uh, but the show that he um, uh, has here is a giant video projection that actually takes up two walls in the gallery. Large um, walls, large walls. Yeah, well. also large walls, yeah. Uh, and Cheryl Piperek uh, has a show called Connect. Um, and it's actually an interactive uh, video uh, projection where the visitor would also affect the sound in the piece as you walk into the Oh, room. that's cool. And one floor lower, you have Carbon and Light, uh, another show of moving sculptures and interactive pieces, and Dominique Laporte in uh, Galerie Annex. And some people might recognize his work. He's actually an urban artist. Like, he's got murals around the city in Ottawa. Uh, but in the, in the gallery, you can come and see his paintings and sculptures. Lots going on at the gallery, we see it by the space, and I am always amazed every time I come by there's something happening here. So talk to us about some of the programming elements coming uh, later this year. Yeah, so the shows that we just talked about take us to September. So throughout the summer basically we have a programming that will um, kind of engage you know, the visitor with, with the exhibit, um, either through artist talk or through if you come for our um, happy hour, you can come and have a glass of wine and learn an art technique based on one of the exhibits and do something hands-on, something creative. Um, Some and, summer camps as well. Yeah, all oh, right, yeah, the summer camps and uh, what's exciting this year is that half of our weeks will happen actually in the forest, in nature, oh, through a partnership, fun. so art, art in nature. Um, and then we also have sketchy uh, Thursdays, so you can come into the gallery and, uh, and sketch uh, one of the artworks. Uh, uh, and, uh, and just kind of engage with other artists or other visitors that way. 
Um, so basically, probably the best thing is to go on our website, check out our calendar. Um, there's always so much going on. I, I'm really, I'm really. Every time I walk by, there's I have activities here. Obviously, you've highlighted some of the programming, and there's always special features. So visit the website. We want to see you at the gallery. If you come in 2018, it's time that you come back in 2019 because everything's changed. And if you haven't come, shame on you. But the space is always available for you. It's open and it's friendly.